Three open houses were held in the Monmouth County area to answer public questions about the proposed Monmouth County Reliability Project. The purpose of the open house is to engage in dialogue with customers to allow uh, customers who live along the route to come in and to learn about the project, uh, to see all of the experts that are involved from Jersey Central Power and Light and directly work with them to have their questions answered. The open houses for the community were held at Brookdale Community College in Lincroft, VFW Post 2179 in Port Monmouth, and North Centerville Volunteer Fire Company in Hazlitt in June. They come to these open houses and we are here to answer questions they may have as well as to garner input that could help in this uh, project. JCPNL's Monmouth County Reliability Project is meant to enhance service and modernize the electric system in the Jersey Shore area. The plan includes a new 10 mile, 230 kilovolt transmission line and substation enhancements. Well, the purpose of the line is to add reliability and redundancy to serve the residents in the area. The goal is to make sure JCPNL customers have the power they need when they need it. The project is to reduce overall outage times uh, with the dense population in this area. Uh, providing this other source of power to the area will reduce outage times. The open houses offered the community more details about the proposed $75 million power project and a forum to offer input. I, I just don't like the idea of the power line. I don't like the voltage. I don't like the height of it. Um, the electromagnetical um, radiation from it. I am concerned about the electromagnetic fields, um, the effects of them that are from what I understand, undetermined or certainly debatable at least. Their main concerns are house values and, and health effects. And we have experts on hand at these meetings in different disciplines such as EMF research, uh, design construction, uh, the routing and siting process, as well as real estate and forestry issues that help answer these questions. Kyle King of KR Consulting, whose experience includes serving as director of the Electric Power Research Institutes, or EPRI, High Voltage Research and Test Center, answered residents' questions about electric and magnetic fields at all three open houses. King has authored numerous EPRI handbooks and has taught dozens of courses focused on transmission line design and EMF management. King said the conclusions reached by national and international scientific and health agencies from their evaluation of EMF research and the guidelines for exposure they have recommended make clear that exposure to EMF that people encounter in their daily life, including those from transmission lines like the one considered here, do not pose any recognized long-term health risks. The transmission lines will cross portions of Aberdeen, Hazlitt, Homedale and Middleton Town townships as well as Red Bank. There were a number of different routes that were looked at and this is an area where there's a particular need. Uh, this project has also been recommended uh, to be built by PJM, the local uh, grid operator for the region. The line will be solely located within New Jersey Transit right away. Uh, minimizing the need for additional right-of-way from private property owners. The proposed plan features modern technologies that deliver real-time information about system conditions, so JCPNL can better monitor and respond to customer power needs. Customers have the opportunity to fill out comment cards at the three open houses. We take all of the comments and uh, reach out to customers. I mean, again, we're, we're getting their feedback. This, this is the start of the process. As for how the project will look, the proposed transmission line will feature monopoles rather than bulky towers. If approved, the power project will create about 245 temporary jobs for two years starting in June 2017. Ultimately, a petition will be filed with the Board of Public Utilities and another process will take place that includes public hearings. In addition to the open houses, the hearings will be another opportunity for those living in Monmouth County to offer input. For more information about the Monmouth County Reliability Project, visit mammothreliability.com or call 855-277-9332. For more information, check out suretvnj.com.